to relay our second uh, relay. Uh, if the survivors will kind of make their way to the stage, and if everyone will kind of gather around here. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Trina Barrett. I am the chairperson with Lincoln County Relay for Life, and this is Pam Spence, and she's the co-chair. I do have a personal story. I had breast cancer, but all these people in these purple shirts, they all have a story. So that's the reason that why we're here. Uh, I would hazard to guess, guess that not one of us can say that we have not had a friend or neighbor associated or loved one that has had this disease. And most of us cannot say that we have had, that we have not known someone who has died from it. This year alone witnessed 1.2 million newly diagnosed cases. And I'm going to skip this stuff. I've just got a poem that I'm going to read because I'm afraid it's going to start raining on us. Hopefully that's okay, Shelly. But a friend of mine gave me this poem, and I'm going to read it. What cancer cannot do. Cancer is so limited, it cannot cripple love. It cannot shatter hope. It cannot corrupt faith. It cannot eat away peace. It cannot destroy confidence. It cannot kill friendship. It cannot shout, shut out memory. It cannot silence courage. It cannot reduce eternal life, and it cannot quench the spirit. Right now, we're going to sing the national anthem. We're going to post the callers at this time. We're cutting this just a little bit short. because you've smiled down upon us this day. Father, as we uh, pray tonight, I think it's good that we take a moment and remember all those that have, that have fallen, that have lost their lives to cancer, and we hope to honor their memory with our ceremonies tonight. But Father, we also pray that your blessings would be upon those survivors as we honor with this next lap and with the caregivers and all the families and the people affected uh, by this disease. Father, I pray that your grace and your goodness and your mercy would be upon them, God. And Father, I pray that you would look down and bless this Relay for Life here, Father, that it will bring the community together and we'll work together and uh, work for the good and work for the cause of finding a cure for cancer. So I pray that you smile down uh, upon us, Lord, and be with us. And uh, we love you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray, and amen. Now all the survivors are gonna, if you don't have a balloon, please get one, and uh, the co-chair, Pam Spence, is gonna read some information to you.
traditional cancer survivor lap. All the cancer survivors with us will take the ceremonial first lap around the track to sound of celebration. Once the survivors go around the track, family members and all caretakers may join for the second lap. Upon finishing that lap, we gather in the middle of the field for a balloon launch to heaven. After the balloon launch, we ask that everyone come out from their campsites and take the third lap. Survivors are invited to visit the survivor tent for bingo. Remember, we ask one person from each team must be at the track at all times. We are ready to begin the cancer survivor lap. Let's get it started. Come around. It's the 